Okay, so because of technology and life and all of this, we're doing this again. Um, hey guys, uh, as promised, uh, I did say that I'll be giving you guys a sweet little sugar stream, a little Sean K exclusive. Um, don't mind the noise, people drive like they drive. Um, a little Sean K exclusive, basically just some background, some facts, some um, info about me, who I am, what I do, um, why you should be my best friend, why I'm amazing. <laughs> um, and this is really just a place for me and you guys to chat, like if you want to have any questions, Ask them, we're going live, because this is where the world is now, and I can answer them as we go along. So, um, before there was Sean K, first of all, I'm like here at the loft. It's a lovely jazz night. You need to make this place um, a thing. Yeah, like I was saying, before there was Sean K, there was Sean Kamati. Um, Sean Kamati was a very eager beaver, teacher's pet, always good at everything just for the sake of being extra. I was an athlete, I was an uh, academic, I was in every single club ever from chess club to like math club to like just geeks club. I was a gymnast. That was amazing though uh, because I, little do you guys know, was national champion eight times in a row for male artistic gymnastics. And then I quit before anyone could beat me. But also I didn't have a life. Um, so I've always really been like, I've always been very into like the academics and the sports and the arts. I mean, I used to, I used to sketch, I used to paint, I used to just do everything. Um, until I got to university where I went to study law, believe it or not. Um, while I was there, I found a passion for dance. Uh, I found myself, I was in Cape Town, I found myself at like UCT School of Dance with my very good friend Tuli. Uh, Tuli, if you're watching, hey. Um, <clears throat> and I, I, I realized that, you know what, creativity is where I want to be. That's what I want to do. Uh, I spent more times in the dance school than I did actually in my law lectures. And that caused me to just not finish that. That's our secret. No one has to know. Um, yeah, uh, my parents even told me, you know what, if you want to go dance, dance, you can study that. And I was just like, no, let me continue with this law. It just didn't really work out. Came back to Namibia, continued dancing. I was like, you know what, I'm going to be a dancer. That's what I started. I started doing shows and everyone knew Sean as the dancer. <clears throat> um, I then, like obviously in this industry, seeing that it's so small, you meet so many people, and you end up knowing everyone, um, the circle is so tiny, which is great, which worked out perfectly for me, which is kind of the reason why I'm where I'm right now. Um, I made a very good friend, um, Lisa. Lisa, if you're watching, hey. Uh, she is so inspirational she really gave me my first chance when it came to music so now this music story is actually funny I used to back in the day I'm gonna have to now separate my life into like music and fashion and you guys just have to like follow and just get along um, let's start with music <clears throat> music I used to back in the day sing in the choir no, for fun, and I never thought that music would actually be a thing. Um, I think this was when I was younger, in primary school even. No, not in primary school, because I couldn't sing before my voice broke. Hi, Peter. Thanks. You're cool, too. Thumbs up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, um, I mean, I'd always be singing. Our family's very musical. I like good music, like old school. That's where my heart is. Some Motown, you know, Ella Fitzgerald, Ray Charles, you know, the good stuff, not this stuff we have now. I mean, it's great, but like, it was better then. 
in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> music then just never was really a, a thing until one day we went to some Christmas party at Lisa's house. I mean, we all know Lisa is an amazing, beautiful singer. Um, and we were there dancing, having fun, and there was a mic set up, and I went up and I sang. I was like, you know what, let, let me do this. I've probably had like one too many. I was like, you know what, I'm going to sing. Let's do this. Let's have fun. And I got up and I sang. I remember I sang Redemption Song. Bob Marley. Yep. Uh, and everyone just stopped and they looked at me and they were like, hold up. You sing? And I'm like, I guess so. Probably in the shower. You know, it, it, was, it was never a thing. Um, and what, what was beautiful about that is that Lisa then had already been planning to start song nights the following year and she said she definitely wants me to be part of the team. I then was the very first person on the song night stage ever, which is awesome. Um, I remember I did John Legend, Ordinary People. Uh, my voice was terrible back then. When I listen back to the tapes, I'm just like, oh God, help me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, I did song night and that was the first time in my life where I actually realized, you know what, this is what I want to do. Because I've always been one of those people that have just always been, without sounding, you know, full of myself. Just like good at everything that I've ever done. Um, but because of that, it was kind of, it kind of was, a, was a problem because I couldn't concentrate on one thing. I'd get bored so quickly. I'd love this, be good at it, move on to the next one, love that. We're good. And I just could never find my passion. And then. Thank goodness I found music. I'm just trying to find great lighting because this thing doesn't have filters. My skin. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> extra. Uh, so <clears throat> and then I started music. Um, Lisa took me under her wing. I was singing with her, doing shows with her. She sort of helped me own my skill and like get better and just. Um, improve, become a singer um, and I will always thank her for that and she must know that she will always be in every single interview I always give because I'll always be like, you know what Lisa, keep big ups. I, um, I then, yeah, yeah, the music continued and at some point Lisa was like, you know what Sean, I'm kicking you out of the nest, bye. No wings, nothing, she just kicked me out, I had to just make a plan and fly it somehow. Um, she then said, you know what, you've been part of Song Night. I was one of the Song Night, you know, regulars all the time. She was like, you need to start doing your own music. And the very next, I'm not, I'm not you know what, the time is a bit iffy. I'm not sure if I've been doing this for five years or six years. Um, it's, uh, hey Gary. Thanks. Um, it's five years to six years. You know, as you get older, your brain kind of just is not a thing. And yes, I look 21, but I'm actually almost 30. This is the true story. Um, yeah, so five years or six years, I think. Uh, the very next year, she was like, Sean, you need to go out <coughs> and make your own music. And the, the after that, I got so inspired because she basically kicked me off song night. She was like, you're not singing anymore until you make your own music, which was probably the best thing she could have done for me. Uh, thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Um, we then... Who talking about myself is such, it's such a hassle. You would think you would love it, but it's like, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, we then, um, yeah. This sort of forced me into a position where I, I, I started writing, I started exploring writing and I had never actually been writing for like, tried, or tried to write for music or for myself. I, I used to do poems when I was younger, that was great, um, but I never thought I would like start writing music. Uh, 
I started writing and the next year I then wrote a song called Smiling. Um, thanks Charmaine. Thank you. Um, yeah, called Smiling. I mean, people who know me know I'm, I'm such a happy chappy. I'm always chirpy, I'm always upbeat. So what I, what I, and I've realized now when I write, I basically write my life. So this song was called Smiling. It's basically about just, you know, get into a car, live your best life. Don't let the day or any worries get onto you. It's very, you know, fun. Um, I did a remix of that song with uh, Mark Mushiva from Black Vulcanite. It got nominated for NAMA, so I have been nominated for NAMA. Wink, wink. I haven't won any yet, but uh, I have been nominated. Um, and that sort of... Yeah, that was that. With that, that was the launch of Sean K. That's where Sean K came about. Um, I remember Slick, Slick the Dick coined that name. He just invited me off stage one day and it's like, yeah, here comes Sean K. And it just stuck, which is great. Uh, from there, I sort of just started doing a lot of corporates, a lot of shows. Uh, the biggest things that I've done so far, actually, was uh, I did the jazz festival. Um, I think 2011, 2012 with Lisa. I remember we shared the stage with Jimmy Dludlu, which was awesome. Um, I did Namrock a few years. Um, and eventually, I think it was beginning 2015, after like years went by and I, I, was, I, was, I was doing what I needed to do. Um, middle 2015, beginning 2015, I met a very good friend of mine, Andrew, who is an epidemiologist, Google that, I'm not trying to explain. So he studies diseases. And he happens to make music as well. And he came up to me and he was like, you know what, Sean, I want to work with you. I love your sound. I think we can do something together. And that was where the idea for Sean K album first came about. Um, we started working on it um, January 2015 started writing the songs together he made the music I mean I can't play an instrument for you know no it's not a thing guitar no keyboard no no I sing this is my instrument um, so uh, he was like you know what let's make some music and I was like great we started on the album we I think by about May or so we had all the music or at least all the tracks that we wanted in the album. And um, that year we were all so hype about it and I was so hype, I'm like, yeah, I'm making music, I'm doing this, it's awesome, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, call the papers, tell them your album is dropping in September of that year. And I was like, yeah. There was a whole spread in the paper, Sean K's album to be dropping in September. And I was super excited, and then life was like, nope, you're lying. Um, I had a, when was it? Sometime in May, in June of that year, I, I had some problems with my head. No, I'm not crazy. I just had some genuine problems. <laughs> um, and long story short, I've, I, it turned out that I had um, a cavernoma in my, on my brainstem. Uh, which is like bleeding on my brainstem from a blood vessel which was just abnormal and I guess crazy. Uh, so I had to have emergency brain surgery. That's fun. <laughs> I, remember, I remember the first thing I said to the doctor when he showed me my scans and I was like, oh, what? this is your brain. What do you see? I'm like, a brain. What am I supposed to see? Um, and the first thing I said to him after he was like, okay, so we're gonna have to take you in observations, this and that. I'm just like, you know what? I'm supposed to be going out. People are waiting for me. I was dropping my scans. You were just stopping my life. I, the first thing I said to him was like, you know what? I have a performance next week, Thursday. Will I be out of hospital by then to be able to perform? I didn't even say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die or I'm gonna, you know, whatever. I, it just, it was, that's when I realized that music is so 
became such an important thing for me. It, it's, it basically became my life that this man is telling me, hey, you're gonna die or you could die. And I'm like, I wanna sing. You know, and skip over a few things, went to Cape Town, had an operation. A month after my operation, and my operation went 100%. I mean, you can imagine a serious invasive brain surgery on my stem, brain stem, not only just in the brain. So that could have like left me paralyzed, dead, blah, 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 boring stuff. A month after that, I was on stage performing at Song Night. Um, a month after that to the day actually and then three months after that to the day I had my very first solo performance at the Vintage Jazz Festival which was super I mean imagine like before that you're in the hospital like oh, next to sick people and you're like oh I see you it's not a thing and now you're on stage performing and that for me was 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 super and of course because of all of that um, that put a halt on the album um, because people aren't just gonna, you know, sit around and wait for me until, you know, my life gets together. Sorry. Lighting guy. I see you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, that put a halt on the album and, you know, which was sort of a blessing in disguise because the album evolved and it became what it is now. And, and people are like, you know, Sean, where's the album, where's the album, where's the album? And we're working on it and it's, it sounds great. Um, the album is going to be called Status Updated, by the way. You guys know I'm, I'm a social media buffoon. And when you hear the album, you'll, you'll know that it makes sense. Um, it's basically just about me doing a new a new post, a new update in my life. It's a new, yeah, it's a new post. It's a new tweet. It's a new Instagram picture, but it's just my life. Um, yeah, so you guys can expect the album pretty soon. And I'm saying pretty soon, it will be this year. And you can quote me on this. I won't give you dates, but you will know when it's gonna happen. Um, if you see me in the streets and it's next year, punch me in the throat or fight me. I'm giving you guys carte blanche because um, it has to be out this year and it's good. Um, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm really excited to give what I've been working on for so long. It's been two years. It's been two years. What I've been working on for so long. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, what's great is I'm going to get to share it next week at the Namas. Um, I'm performing at the Namas next week, Saturday, and I'll be giving you guys a song from the upcoming album, so you guys will have a little taste of what's to come. I mean, I've been performing the music out already and all of that, but yeah, so it'll, it's, 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 it's definitely the biggest platform that I will be on, or have, will have been on to date. English, guys, help me. English is not my language. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that with regards to Sean K. Um, you guys know I'm a blogger. That's, do you really want to know about that? Is it, do I have to? Okay. Um, okay, so apart from music, I'm also extremely fabulous, as you can see. <laughs> Um, um, I don't know how many of you know this, but I run Vakwetu.com, which is Namibia's biggest fashion and lifestyle blog. Um, I got into it sort of by accident as well, like everything in my life, sort of. Really, I did. I got into it by accident. This lighting guy does not believe me. Lighting guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, a friend of mine who actually started the blog, she she's still like the head of the blog, but I'm basically the, 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 the fashion and lifestyle and content editor and the face of uh, Vakwetu. She, we were sitting at a table one day and she was like, you know what, I really want somebody young who can write, who's into fashion, who's, you know, fun, 
whatever. I mean, I've, like, again, one too many champagnes. I was like, me. And the rest is history. I took, I took over the blog. I, I, I gave it wings here. Um, I, I, not that there wasn't anything there, but I definitely, I definitely targeted it to a more younger crowd, a more, you know, my generation. Um, and, it's, and it's been getting super reviews. Um, I've been getting quite a lot of, a lot of jobs from that. Uh, people always ask, how do you make money from blogging? And it's really just, it's advertising, it's promoting brands, it's, it's, it's collaborations, it's all of that. I mean, you get a lot of free stuff as a blogger. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're good, I'm just fixing my eyebrows, because there was no hair and makeup. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I mean, you, the, the perks, it's, it's amazing because you get just everything for free, like all of it. It's I anyone, just start a blog and live your best life. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's another thing I do. So uh, all in all, um, I'm very much a creative, I'm very much a creator I, I'm, I'm very passionate about the arts I'm very passionate about people which is why I do what I do I'm very passionate about clothes it's another thing no no it's okay um, I feel like I've really been blessed to be where I am yes I've taken a lot of leaps of faith and I just had to because this industry to be successful in this industry in Namibia is not easy it's a lot of hard work, but what I love about Namibia is that the, the, the industry is so ripe, it's so small that you can create the world you want. So if you are doing something you love and you're not successful at it, then you're doing something wrong. Because there is not a lot of competition, there's not a lot of... You can literally, if there's no industry, you make it. And you can, I, I always stick to that, you can create the world, you can create the life that you want in whichever in whichever industry you're in especially in the arts and i'm gonna i'm gonna speak for the arts and music because that's what i'm in and it's really been it's been tough for artists for musicians unless you're you know popular or you do what the people are used to or like you know it's it's tough for you to break through and and i'm so proud of what i see i'm so proud of the people i see making efforts breaking barriers just like reaching out doing the most that is my motto live your best life and do the most that's your to-do list every single day to-do list the most and that is what I live by and that's why I believe I'm, I'm, I'm running after what I what I want to do and I believe I'm definitely where I'm supposed to be and I'm glad you guys can be on this journey with me um, it's only gonna get better from here so if I'm on the street one day and like my security guards are like no don't touch him you know what, I warned you now. I can't just, uh, no, I'm sorry. Just, just know this. Book me now with my now prices. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We good? <laughs> Thank you.